Hey guys, welcome to RhinoTutorial.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to import PDFs and how to place bitmaps. In PDFs are extremely useful because they can be saved from any CAD program, whether you're working in Adobe Illustrator, AutoCAD, or ArchiCAD, or any other CAD program. So, to import a PDF, you go to File, Import and this is my PDF squares we're gonna open it this is say one millimeter in the PDF is one Rhino unit we're gonna to go to OK and we have it imported and the good thing about PDFs is you can select all the curves straight away so there's no need to redraw over anything so what we're doing now is select the edges I'm gonna join them and then I'm going to extrude them to show you how quickly and easily you can work from PDFs. Click join, extrude, and one more just to prove the point. Go to join, extrude. And there you have it. That's how quick and easy it is to work with PDFs. But if you don't have the luxury of having a PDF file of what you're trying to model you can import a bitmap or place a bitmap to do that hover over these four viewpoints icon and go to background bitmap which is this frowny little face or you can just type in background bitmap by typing in b and background bitmap will be spelled out for you press enter and in the options go to place find your image mine's a jpeg I'm going to open it and then you choose where you're going to place it and you choose how big you want it this is about as big as I would like it and there we have it this is the JPEG and with this you can draw over the lines like so Holding, I'm holding shift to make sure the lines are straight and if I click on smart check, I can get, do smart check. There we go. So you can you can see why it's smarter to work with PDFs because you don't have to go over this retracing phase. Which is never entirely accurate unless you waste a lot of time making it accurate so we go extrude extrude and extrude there we have it now if you want to get rid of the bitmap simply type in B for background bitmap again enter and select remove you want to scale it select scale if you just want to make it invisible for the moment click invisible and so on if you want to make it grayscale if it's colorful and you want to make it black and white you click on grayscale so now i'm going to remove it and there we go that concludes this tutorial about importing pdfs and placing bitmaps thank you for watching a rhino tutorial